Hi, I'm Paul McNiff here for Panasonic Cinema Cameras, and we're going to talk about the differences between the Vericam 35 and the Vericam LT. The most obvious differences are going to be the external physical differences. The Vericam 35 is larger. It's also a heavier device. In fact, the Vericam 35 is actually two devices that connect together. It's a camera head containing the imaging sensor and a camera recorder, which is where you put your recording media. The Vericam LT, on the other hand, while it shares the same Super 35 4K digital imaging sensor, is a much smaller body. It's also much lighter weight. You'll also find that in the Vericam 35 you have four recording slots. You're going to have two slots for your Express P2 cards, which would be your main recording, and then you're going to have two slots for Micro P2 cards, and that's where you're going to do your sub-recording. On the Vericam LT, you only have one slot for an Express P2 card, and then you have one sub-slot, which is for an SD card, and that's where you're going to record a proxy recording. One of the most notable physical differences is going to be the lens mount. A Vericam 35 has a traditional PL Cinema lens mount. A Vericam LT comes with an EF lens mount, which is a mount for traditionally still imaging lenses. There is, however, a PL accessory mount. We're going to go over how to swap those mounts in another video. When you're controlling the aperture on these EF mounted lenses that don't have an aperture ring, you're going to need to use a dial on the camera in order to adjust the iris. There is also on the LT an accessory grip that contains a dial and you can use that grip to control the aperture of those lenses. That grip, while it connects to the Hiroshi connector in the front of the camera, is not cross compatible with the Vericam 35. Internally, there are some recording differences in terms of capability. As a general rule, you can do twice as much on a Vericam 35 as you can on a Vericam LT. For example, you can do up to 120 frames per second in 4K on a Vericam 35, but you can only do up to 60 frames per second in 4K on a Vericam LT. The exception to this rule is that you can do 240 frames per second in HD or 2K on a Vericam LT. However, when you are recording that many frames per second on a Vericam LT, you are using a cropped sensor. One other significant difference about the recording capabilities between the two cameras is that on a Vericam 35, you can record 4K at 444. On a Vericam LT, you can only record 4K at 422. Another difference between the Vericam 35 and LT is the way that the viewfinder is connected. The OLED viewfinders between the two cameras are basically the same. However, on the 35, there's a single cable that carries both video as well as power. On the Vericam LT, there are two separate connectors. This allows you to use a regular BNC connector to run the video into the viewfinder, and that allows you to use an aftermarket viewfinder if you chose to do so. One thing that the Vericam LT has that the Vericam 35 does not have is the ability to remove the IR cut filter. By removing the IR cut filter and replacing it with the provided clear filter, you can use infrared light. This allows you to shoot at night. Most frequently it would be used for shooting nocturnal wildlife in a situation where you would have absolutely no normal light sources. You can also use it to make different artistic decisions and use different kind of filters to create different color effects. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. For more information, please check out our other videos here on the Vericam website. Panasonic.